Welcome to a video on trig integrals involving secant and tangent, and this is part one. All the techniques discussed in this video are based on the Pythagorean identity tangent squared theta plus one is equal to secant squared theta, or solve for tangent squared theta would give us tangent squared theta equals secant squared theta minus one. Let's go and take a look at the first case. If the power of secant is even, we're gonna save a secant squared factor and then convert the remaining factors to tangent. So again, if the power of secant is even, we'll save one factor of secant squared, and then the remaining factors of secant squared will be converted to one plus tangent squared. Once we do that, if we let u equal tangent x, then differential u will equal secant squared x dx. So in this form, we'll have one plus u squared to the k minus one power times u to the nth power, and then secant squared x dx is equal to du. So then we'll expand this integrand and then integrate with respect to u. Let's go ahead and give it a try. The first step is to rewrite this, saving a factor of secant squared. So we're gonna save this factor of secant squared and convert this factor to tangent squared x plus one. So then we'd have tangent squared x times tangent squared x plus one times secant squared x dx. So we still have this extra factor of secant squared x, but if we let u equal tangent x, then differential u will equal secant squared x dx. So all of this would be equal to du, and over here we'd have u squared times u squared plus one. Let's go ahead and rewrite this integral in terms of u. So if we distribute here, we'll have u to the fourth plus u squared du. So now we'll integrate this with respect to u, and then rewrite it in terms of tangent x. So we'd have u to the fifth over five plus u to the third over three plus c. And then since u is equal to tangent x, we'll have one fifth tangent to the fifth x plus one third tangent to the third x and then plus c. Okay, the next case is when the power of tangent is odd. And when this is the case, we're gonna save a secant tangent factor and then convert the remaining factors to secants. So if our integrand has factors of secant and odd factors of tangent, we're gonna save one factor of secant and one factor of tangent. So notice the secant to the power of m will become secant to the power of m minus one, and then an extra factor of secant. And then given this odd power of tangent, we'll save one factor of tangent here leaving an even factor of tangents here. So again, the result was we saved a factor of secant x tangent x. And then we'll convert these tangent squared x's to secant squared minus one. Once everything is in terms of secant, except for this extra factor of secant x tangent x, we'll let u equal secant x, therefore differential u will equal secant x tangent x dx. So all of this will be du, and all this will now be in terms of u. Let's go ahead and give it a try. So since the power of tangent is odd, we want to save a factor of secant x tangent x. So we'd have tangent to the fourth x, secant to the second x, and the extra factor of secant x tangent x. Again, this is the factor that we wanted to save. Now we're gonna convert tangent to the fourth to secants. Well, we know that tangent squared is equal to secant squared minus one, but we have tangent to the fourth. So this will end up being the quantity secant squared x minus one to the second power times secant squared x times secant x tangent x. Now that everything's in terms of secant, except for this extra factor here, we'll let u equal secant x Therefore, differential u is equal to secant x tangent x. So all of this now becomes du. 
this becomes u squared minus one to the second, and this is u fuck. and this is u squared. So let's go ahead and rewrite this in terms of u. Again, this is going to be u squared minus one squared, so it'll be u to the fourth minus two u to the second plus one times u squared times du. Let's go ahead and distribute the u squared. So I have u to the sixth minus two u to the fourth plus u squared, all with respects to u. Now we'll find the antiderivative in terms of u. So I have u to the seventh over seven minus two times u to the fifth over five plus u to the third over three plus c. The last step is to rewrite this replacing u with secant x. So we'll have one seventh secant to the seventh x minus two fifths secant to the fifth x plus one third secant to the third x and then plus c. Let's go ahead and take a look at one more case for this video. So for this last case, if there are no secant factors and the power of the tangent is even and positive, we'll convert a tangent squared factor to a secant squared minus one factor and then repeat this if necessary. So again, if we have an even power of tangent with no secants, we're gonna save a tangent squared and then replace that with secant squared x minus one. Let's look at an example of this. So we'll save a tangent squared factor. Now we're gonna replace this tangent squared x with secant squared x minus one. Let's go ahead and distribute this tangent squared x and see what happens. Let's rewrite this as two different integrals. And notice this first integral we have an even factor of tangent squared x and an even factor of secant squared x. But if we let u equal tangent x, then differential u would equal secant squared x so now we can just use basic u substitution. But on the second integral, but notice the second integral fits the same case that we just dealt with. We have an even power of tangent, so we're gonna go ahead and replace this tangent squared again with secant squared x minus one. So now I think we're in pretty good shape. Taking a look at this first integral, this would be u squared, and all this would be du. So the antiderivative of u squared would be u to the third divided by three, or one-third u to the third, and again, u is tangent x, so we'd have one-third tangent cubed x minus the antiderivative of secant squared x would be tangent x. That's a basic antiderivative. And then the antiderivative of one would be x, so we have minus negative x or plus x plus c. Okay, that's gonna do it for this video. In part two, we'll take a look at some additional examples. I hope you found this helpful.